What's up guys? Jack Ambrose here. Today's Friday, March 15th. Man, it has been a long, long week. Um, not that that's a bad thing. Just facility's been crazy. Guys uh, getting ready for high school tryouts that are coming up next week. Uh, it's been a, it's been a kind of a zoo. Been kind of a zoo. I feel like I've been going nonstop for the past week. So it's about 9 a.m. right now. I usually try to leave the house about 8, 8.30 at the latest to go to the gym. It's usually the first thing I do in the morning. Um, but I was at the facility till late last night, like 9.30, 10 o'clock almost, and uh, hit the snooze button a couple uh, too many times. And uh, so we're running a little bit late, but that's all right. We're still going to head to the gym right now. And uh, on the way there, I'm, I'm going to kind of explain, you know, why I'm, I, I'm you know, doing these vlogs and, and uh you know, give you guys kind of an inside look of what's going on at the program and, and how things run on a day-to-day -day and a week-to-week -week basis. So stay tuned. So one of the reasons why I decided that uh, I was going to shoot more of these these vlog style videos, if you guys followed the program uh, or have been following the program on social media, um, you know, especially la this time last year, you know that I was... Um, you know, basically shooting and editing video from practices at the facility, lessons, that sort of thing. And, you know, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, we're, we're putting out videos that, um, you know, showed off the highlights of, of what we had going on at the facility. And, uh, you know, I have a blast doing that stuff, but, you know, to a certain point, you can, I, I feel like you can only show so much and, at a certain point, that content's going to become stale, and you know, I thought, okay, if I if I kind of hold myself accountable and 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 film, you know, my day to day, there's going to be a lot, a lot more diversity in my content um, and the stuff that I'm filming compared to you know if I'm just shooting the same you know guys taking ground balls, guys taking swings. Um, you know, I'm still gonna add that stuff into into future videos, but um, you know, I thought this would be a good opportunity to, you know, show guys in our program and and you know, even guys outside the program, um, you know, guys that that are at other facilities and and um, or other players that might be interested in the program, um, you know, again, kind of give them a little bit of an insight as far as you know, what we do from a daily basis and, and uh, you know, how we run things uh, as far as a program. And like I said, at the end of the day, I like doing this stuff. I, I love filming. Um, I love going back, looking at the film, editing it, chopping it up, uh, and, and putting together a product that, you know, I can release out to uh, those that follow the program. And, um, you know, I think, I think the players get a kick out of it. And you know that that's ultimately that's what's in, in, important to me is is if it provides value for you know not only our program but for for kids in our program and uh, you know uh, players today they they've got an incredible opportunity to uh, use social media and 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 use this stuff to to help further their career and and you know prolong the longevity of their of their career um getting into college you know reaching out to coaches it's it's a totally it's a totally different landscape from when i played it's it's uh it's awesome but it, it is totally different and you know the the opportunities are there for guys to um you know take advantage of that and and i want to be a resource and i want to be a a, a uh, I want to provide value for, for guys that, um, you know, are interested in, in getting themselves out there, getting their name out there and, and hopefully, 
you know, playing at the next level uh, in college. So, um, you know, that's my whole plan. That's my whole goal. And, and, you know, that's what it's been from day one when I, when I started to get back into baseball, you know, five, geez, five going on six years now, six years ago. Um, you know, that was the ultimate goal was to help, help kids, help guys, you know, get to the next level, achieve their goals, regardless of what it was. And, um, you know, that's what's continued to drive me. And to be honest, it's been awesome that I've been able to do that. Um, I feel blessed that I, I have the opportunity. So I figured, you know what, why don't I just film and document, you know, stuff that goes on day to day at the facility or in my life. And, and um, again, kind of give people an inside look at, you know, what's going on. The, the other thing that I hope it, it kind of sheds light on is, is the, the amount of time and the amount of work, uh, you know, some of us put in, uh, at, at the facility to, to make it run and make it operate the way that, that it does. So I hope to share some insight and shed some light on, on, you know, guys that are in our program that, you know, put in extra time to make sure that, you know, the, the, the program and, and the facility are running at, you know, as efficiently as possible so that, you know, when we get rolling here in about two, three weeks, um, you know, we're, we're, we're up to speed and, and we're hitting the ground running and, um, not to say there are, there aren't going to be hiccups on the way. I mean, there's stuff's always going to come up, especially here in new England with the, with the rain and the weather. Um, you, you, the, the first two, three weeks of the season every year, you never know what's going to happen. Um, but you know, we, we, I'd say for the most part, we do a, a good job controlling what we can control and, and, uh, making sure everything is, you know, on the straight and narrow and everything's set up, ready to go. And our ducks are in a row and, and, um, you know, and then we adjust from there, but, um, that takes a lot of time and a lot of preparation, a lot of effort. And, you know, I, I, I want to be able to kind of highlight that and, and, you know, again, show people kind of an inside look of, of, you know, that process and, and, you know, that sort of thing going on. So that's the plan for these videos. And I, you know, I hope it provides some value and, um, uh, you know, some insight as far as what we've got going on at the program and, and, um, you know, hope you guys stick around and stay tuned. we got a busy weekend, uh, today, Friday, Fridays are usually the day I try to get away from the facility, kind of reset and recharge the batteries. But um, I've got a few high school guys that, you know, with tryouts coming up this week, uh, wanted to get in some extra work. And I I figured I could probably just, you know, bite the bullet, suck it up and, and uh, you know, take time out of uh, one of my Fridays to, to get these guys some extra work. So uh, we'll be heading into the facility later. Um, we've also, I've also got to, start to edit two recruiting videos that I've already shot. We've got another recruiting video session tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is going to be crazy. Tomorrow is, uh, we, we're starting with a recruiting session seven to 9 AM. And then we're going seven, eight hours straight, uh, with, with lessons. Um, and, and again, guys trying to prepare for this upcoming week. So, um, it's a, it's going to be a busy weekend. And, um, you know, like I said, my plan is to, to film and kind of log, you know, what we've got going on. And, and, uh, like I said, hope you guys stick around, stay tuned and, and enjoy the videos. I'm going to jump in the gym now. Um, going to get a quick workout in, shoot straight home, start editing some video before we got to head to the, you know, the facility later on this afternoon. So stay tuned. All right. So finally made it back to the house. I got a couple hours before I need to head into the facility. So usually I use this time at home to uh, catch up on emails, edit any videos that I need. Uh, right now I've got a couple of recruiting videos that we've already shot that I just need to edit down and send some initial copies over. So that's what we're going to use uh, our time for, for the next couple hours. And then we'll be heading to the facility, uh, facility shortly. Stay tuned. See you later, okay?
I'm gonna be home in a little bit. See ya. Ah, uh, never easy leaving that guy. He always tries to guilt trip me. He always tries to guilt trip me. He gives me those sad puppy dog eyes every time I leave the house. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. He's on the couch right now. He's not supposed to be on the couch. I can literally see him in the window right now. <sighs> anyway, so got some uh, back end stuff done uh, at home, which is always good. Uh, now we're gonna head into the facility. Like I said, we got a few lessons, uh, a few high school guys that I uh, want to get in before tryouts this coming week. Uh, I got my lunch here. I'm going to eat on the way over to Ashland. Uh, and then we'll get after and we'll finish up the day in Southboro with uh, with Southboro Little League. So um, get rolling here. I'm going to crush this lunch and we'll get after it. See you there. No. Tell me here right now? Maybe. I don't like that. <laughs> you can feel them, get it through, we're gonna roll. Show off the Cinnamon Toast Crunch shoes. Look at these things. Straight fire. Straight fire with those shoes. People just back. How could you tell? Hey, Jack, let's go, baby. <laughs> all the way through. Back hip all the way to the You sound really good. Sound real good. What? Sound really good. What's that? I'd say you. I'd say you smash that. I think I'm at like six or seven right now. Yeah. I would say you've smashed the, the record. Yeah. Um, where do you where do you want the trail to be early on? Oh, it's gonna be close to that backside shoulder, right? So if that becomes a lot easier if that, if that barrel isn't straight up and down. You've got that angle over our backside shoulder at landing. As I start to rotate and everything starts to attack forward, that barrel's gonna have a much better chance staying on that back shoulder early on as opposed to getting long on the backside, okay? Yeah. 
we've got good hand and barrel pass, I'm setting the angle back here, and I'm on plane with that baseball, and I'm staying on plane with that baseball all the way out through, through to extension, I give myself a much better chance at a base hit, whereas that swing there, where my hands want to make an early exit towards short, short stop and third base, now my barrel's all of a sudden leaving that zone a lot quicker, right? And again, even if you make contact with the ball, we're not on the right side of that ball, right? We're gonna be, be on the outer half of it. Now we're gonna to top spin it into the ground, and then as a result, we're just gonna produce a ground ball. All right, so allow that, that hand and barrel path and that palm stand up to keep your barrel angle in a good position behind the baseball, so that as you work through, you give yourself the best chance to elevate, okay? Does that make sense? Sound good? Um, and like I said, the adrenaline's going to be going a little bit. All right. Take a deep breath, focus on the task at hand, you'll be fine. Sound good? All right, I'll see you Sunday. Good job. All right, so a couple of really good sessions with uh, two high school guys you saw earlier in the video. Um, now we are rushing over to uh, Southboro to help out Southboro Little League at uh, St. Mark's in, in Southboro, Mass. And um, we have two different groups, a younger group. Um, I think that's like first and second graders and then an older group that'll be... Um, you know, they're made major level, major league level, I guess, the, the older group, 11 and 12 year olds. So, um, uh, gonna jet over there real quick. Luckily we are right around the corner, so it's not too far of a drive, um, get things set up and I don't know how much filming I'll do in there, but we'll get things set up. We'll get things rolling and, uh, that'll finish out the day before I head home. Uh, spend some time with the fam and then get up bright and early uh, like I was saying earlier we got a long day tomorrow so um, get through these next couple hours help these guys out in Southboro and uh, and call it a day stay tuned Whew. we are done it is a little after nine nine ten I'm I'm exhausted that was only a two-hour session Oh my gosh. The first group, uh, the second group's fine. They're a little bit older, like, will pay attention. The first group was, I don't even know. I, I, I was exhausted by the end of the first group. First, second graders, third graders paid attention. First and second graders... That's, uh, that's tough. That is a tough age group. Um, on the positive, no one took a bat to the dome or a baseball to the face. Everybody left in good health. So at the end of the day, we're going to chalk that up as a win. I'm going to get out of here. I got to be up at the crack of dawn, uh, starting with a recruiting film session and then we got a long day of, uh, of lessons. So, um, yeah, I'm going to jet home, hang out with the family for a little bit, hopefully eat something in the process of that. And, uh, next time I see you, it'll be bright and early. So see you guys then. Saturday, March 16th, heading into the facility right now. It's just a little bit past 5.30. Um, heading into the facility right now to um, get ready for a uh, recruiting film session. Uh, and then, uh, as I stated yesterday, I got a, got a long day of uh, lessons, but um, back on that grind bright and early. So uh, I'm going to head in right now, and uh, that's where we'll pick up. See you then. All right, so we'll go... Go like four or five here, all right?
stay through it. Yep. That's why I love the back knees so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That exact reason. Like, down to get it. Now this head and chest stay back behind the ball. Now I just elevate it, pitch down and away. <laughs> Front side. Close longer. Keep it arm side. There you go. I feel like it's just like timing when I'm like behind. Okay. It's easy. I was talking about Kira. Get it? But then when he. You're not going to get him there on your own, I'll yeah. just push him back there. And what I did last time, that I remember when you tried to make me do that, was I tried to put it back more, and I'm like, oh, no, I can't do that. And now I'm just like, all right. Long day. Good day. Long day though. Got a lot of work in, got a lot of stuff done, which was good. Got a lot of high school guys in. That was perfect. Yeah, good day. Good day. Uh, Eric, who uh, I had the recruiting uh, session with that uh, you guys saw in the video earlier, um, did really well. Really well. Uh, session went about as smooth as it could be. Um, and then lessons day, guys were making really good adjustments, um, working on some, uh, some really good stuff, some, some difficult stuff. Um, but you know, you know, kind of different with the high school guys, high school guys, I, I was mainly focusing on, you know, making sure they're ready to go for tryouts this coming week. The younger guys, uh, you know, sometimes it's it's still best to have those guys not really focus on results and focus on what you're you're telling them and focus at, on the task at hand. And um, you know, the younger guys I had had today, um, I felt did that, um, and I thought they made good adjustments, both throwing and and, and swinging today. So um, a lot of positive stuff coming out of today. Uh, it was a jam packed house in there today. The vibe in there was was awesome. Um, a lot of guys getting work in high energy. Um, those are the fun days that so today was a fun day. Um, like I said, a lot of energy, uh, guys getting after it and, um, just a, an awesome, awesome baseball atmosphere today. Um, and like I said, those, those are the fun days. I had a blast today, you know, despite kind of a, a longer day, you know, starting a little bit earlier, I, I'm actually feel I'm feeling pretty good. And, uh, um, you know, not as tired as I thought I'd be. I still got a little bit of energy. And I think that has to do with, um, you know, the energy that was in the facility today. So, but I'm going to get out of here, go home, spend some time with the family, recharge the batteries. And, uh, and then we get to do it all over again tomorrow, bright and early again. So, um, yeah, going to recharge, reset here and, uh, and then get back after it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, March 17th, back at it, back at it again, just a little bit after eight o'clock heading into the facility right now. Uh, my day starts at nine with some lessons, uh, through early afternoon. Um, then we have our first 15 U practice. Um, and then our second 15 U team is right after them. Uh, that's the one that, uh, I am the head coach of. So, um, probably hang out, uh, during the first 15 new practice and then uh, 
show you guys maybe a little bit of uh, the behind looks at uh, at my practice uh, at four, uh, four to six, and then we'll be done, be done for the day. But uh, yeah, another fun one, uh, another day to get back after it. This will be my last practice with my my 15 year old guys, so um, looking forward to uh, having one final practice with those guys before they start high school ball. So should be a fun day. Uh, I'm excited to get back in there. And uh, that's where I'll pick up. I'll see you guys then. Kyle, good luck this week, man. Dude, he's worked hard, man. Looks, swing looks good. Um, dude, I saw you throwing at practice. Yeah. La either last week, two weeks ago, two, live? Yes. Yeah. Looks real good, man. Thank you. Really good. Keep working hard. And I got to right, work just good, so I'm going to take all the credit when you make sparks. Oh, absolutely. You have to. Paulson gets nothing. Yeah, Paulson gets zero. <laughs> Paulson gets zero. It's all, all credit to Coach Sullivan. Make sure you do like a thank you letter to me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Put in our office. Yeah. I'll send him a text. Be like, can you thank Sully for me? Oh yeah, yeah. perfect. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. He'll lose it. Especially since Kyle's like one of his favorite lessons of the week too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So I must be losing my mind because I totally forgot that it's St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I'm not even wearing any green. Ugh, I dropped the ball today. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Um, first couple lessons today went relatively well. Um, got one more, then uh, we got a couple practices coming in, both 15-year-old teams, and then uh, we'll call it a day. So, a, little, a few more hours here at the facility. Um, been a good day so far, and uh, gonna keep it going. Yeah? Last one. I think he had it on the previous one too. I don't know if your kids didn't play the same as that last one. Slow the game down. Slow the game down, alright? It's gonna be tough with the adrenaline going. It's gonna be tough, alright? Slow it down with the step and then unleash the fist. All right, that's time to be quick, not at the stride. More importantly, have fun. Have fun. It's supposed to be fun. Have fun. All right. Good job today. Good adjustments. No pressure, Burns. Come on. 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 Get a single. I don't. I don't know about runs though. How does that feel? Like 40 miles an hour. We got ice. We got ice. Good. We got ice. Three knots. Hey, we'll take it. Hey, wait. Do a job, Pat. Wait. Do a job, Ked. Woo! Don't play, man. Hey, Burns. Whoa. Good job, Sarge. Oh, oh my god! Put that on the IG! Oh my god! That better be on the IG! Oh my god! Hey, that's why we get three! That's going on the IG! Alright, she's better first. She's going to hit a ball on the next pitch. Dude, there goes the coaches. Make an adjustment. Hold on to the bat. That's two. Yeah, Scott. Yeah, John. Hey. Drive him in now. He just runs you. Makes it. Oh, oh. Oh. That's foul. That is foul. Yeah. It's a generous. It's a generous call. One more. One more. One more. Hey, Jay, stay back in. <laughs> hey, oh, you're yeah, in you yeah. You can tell if you're throwing yeah. a curve. Yeah. Thank you, Jake. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Two, two, two! Catch them all! Let's go! Hey, Jay, stay 
It's always fun to walk in. Somebody's watching me. Secure out front, then work in. Basically give you the speech I've been telling all my other high school guys this week, okay? All you can control is your swings, pitchers hit your spots, your reps defensively, all right? Outside that, cards will fall how they fall, all right? But if you guys take care of business, you can control what you can control, you'll be fine, all right? Adrenaline's gonna be going, gonna be amped up a little bit, all right? Take a deep breath, slow the game down, don't press, okay? Easier said than done, I know, all right? But if you feel like you're rushing through things, again, take a deep breath, take a step back, slow the game down, all right? Last thing, have fun with it. You guys have put in the time, the work this winter, all right? Regardless if it was here, here in practice, I've seen plenty of guys working in here on their own, way better than last year, first off, all right? Way better than last year. Guys in here constantly getting work in, uh, whether it's on their own, with uh, another coach in here, working individually, okay? You guys have put in the time and the effort. Now it's time to showcase that. So showcase the work, the body of work that you guys have put in this winter. And um, if you guys need anything from me, y'all have my contact information. Please do not be afraid to reach out. Even some, some simple question that happened during the season, certain situation, whatever the case may be, Again, this is what I told you from day one. This is what I'm here for, okay? This is all I do. And I'm very fortunate to do what I do. This is all I do. So, email me, text me, whatever you want to do. Reach out. Any questions? You good? All right, fellas. Good luck this week. Have fun. All right, enjoy it. All right, who's got us? You got it? Braves on three. One, two, three. Braves. Braves. Alrighty, well, another weekend down, another weekend in the books, busy weekend, good weekend, good weekend, uh, busy one though, but I want to wish all of our high school guys and, and all high school guys here in Massachusetts best of luck this week with tryouts, um, you know, it's going to be some nerves, the adrenaline's going to be pumping, um, but, uh, you know, take a deep breath, relax, uh, have some fun with it, uh, you know, you've been putting in the time, the hard work during this winter. Now's the time to showcase it. Um, and like I said, have fun with it. Enjoy it. Um, but that's going to be it for me this weekend. I'm going to go home, celebrate St. Patty's Day for a little bit, recharge the batteries, and uh, and get back after it. Got a new week starting up. Going to kind of transition to uh, our younger teams, younger guys. Uh, it's hard to believe in two weeks our 10U team, the 10U team I help coach, starts up in like two weeks. It's insane. So... Um, which is fine because I'm, I'm going stir crazy. I need to get out of the facility. I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going nuts in there. Um, I need to get, be, I, I need to get out on a baseball field. So, um, that's getting ready to start up here. It'll be here before we know it. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. So, um, do me a favor. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, the plan going forward is to release, uh, you know, a couple of these videos each week kind of showcase what's going on in the facility. And then, like I said, with games starting up here in two weeks, um, you know, we'll have plenty of game action, some highlights from stuff, uh, as well as, you know, the ins and outs of what's going on at the facility. And, and um, uh, you know, but we'll, we'll start to transition to a lot of uh, stuff that's going on with the, the program during games. And uh, it's going to be an exciting time. And uh, I look forward to producing more of this stuff. Hopefully you guys like this video and uh, like this style of video. And uh, like I said, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I when I release a new video. And um, and yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, had a blast this weekend. Look forward to this coming week. Uh, hope to see you guys then. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy St. Patty's Day. See you next week. Peace. <laughs>